watching Boston TV. Game night and the pool ball win agency facing Stoke Bison in search of the perfect 10 straight home wins with the Swindon Wildcats coming to town. A sellout out crowd on hand and a momentous moment in the early going as Dean Skins became the first Bison goalies past 10,000 league minutes in net for the club. Quite rightly, the crowd rising to their feet in honour of the moment. <laughs> Bison were trying their hardest to break the deadlock at the other end. Kieran Long's shot seemingly annoying the visitors, with both Stevie Lyle and Thomas Kennard getting in his face. However, it would be the Wildcats that took the lead. Aaron Nell being set free with a pass straight up the gut and making no mistake with the finish. And it wouldn't get any better for the hosts soon after. A four-on-four -four situation opening up more of the ice for the teams, with Lee Richardson making the most of it. Our excellent replay showing the effects of a screen at the net as the Bison found themselves two goals down. The response was immediate from the side though, with Miroslav Van Trova taking the puck in deep and putting the pressure on. He's shot in tight, finding a way through with a bit of a battle on the follow-up. The Wildcats complained that Stevie Lyle was impeded making the save, but our excellent replay shows the puck was well over the line before any sort of collision occurred to make it a one-goal game at the break. Bison came out looking to bring the game level as soon as possible, with Grant Rounding having a couple of bites of the cherry, only for Lyle to keep standing tall. And at the other end, Skins was having to do his best to stop the Wildcats from extending their advantage. Jonas Hoog denied him close. However, there wasn't much he or the Bison D could do soon after, as Sam Bullis put on a show to see. It's not often I'm left speechless, but it's better to let the pitchers do the talking there. A mighty fine goal with these, the definition of an excellent replay. And before the Bison could regather, it was a double salvo from the Wildcats that looked set to change the layout of the match. A quick break leaving the hosts on the back foot, with Hoog getting the final touch in the net to make it 4-1 at the end of the second. Stampede needed a response early in the third and they got it from their coach. Keeping the puck alive as the penalty drew to a close, some good movement created the opportunity and Doug Shepard made no mistake to close the gap.
And the lead was down to one soon after as captain Nicky Chin got himself on the score sheet. Not completely clear at full speed how it happened. But our excellent replay shows you some neat footwork and speed from the Welshman to get the goal. With time counting down, the timeout was called and the Bison hoped to utilise the man advantage. Instead, it was the Wildcats who would go closest first. And again, the Bison weren't able to hold the puck in the zone when it mattered most. Thomas Kanar left with the empty net finish to seal a 5-3 victory for the Wildcats and then the home winning streak at 9 for the Herd.